Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to install a virtual machine using Word Magic. Now I have this link pulled up here. I'm going to have this link in the description but you should be able to just follow along and everything will still work. Now let me pull up a terminal here. Okay now first step is to install KVM packages. Now they do this stuff where they update the Arch Linux keying. Honestly you can do it if you want to. So if not, yeah, it's fine. So I'll just copy this, paste it, into the password. Now, okay, once that's done, you need to install these packages. Copy this entire line, paste it here. You also need to install EV tables and IP tables. So copy these two as well, paste them here. Now, I already have these packages, so I'm going to in include the dash dash needed flag or yeah. So what this does is basically it only installs the packages if they're not installed. So if you just ran this command without the dash dash needed and you had had a few packages here, it would reinstall them. I already have virtual manager installed, so I'm going to use this flag. Hit enter. Yeah, as you can see, everything's already up to date. And hit Y here. Remove IP tables and FT. Hit enter. Okay, now. Installing libguestfs on Arch. Now libguestfs is a set of tools used to access and modify virtual machines. So basically you can do lots of cool stuff with it. So just you might as well install it. Install libguestfs. Yeah, I already have it. Now, this is one of the most important steps to actually enable the libbird service. So enable it with the enable command systemctl enable and start it with sudo systemctl start. To check that it's running, you can use systemctl status. I mean, we know that it's running, so I'll we'll just check that while we're at it. As you can see, it is active and running. Now, we need to enable our normal user account to use KVM. Usually, creating virtual machines is sort of like some a task that's left up to the root user but we want to be able to do that as well as a normal user so we're going to enable that functionality now okay we have an editor use vim and open this file uh, i'm going to be using NeoVim for this purpose let's say libvirt libvirt d now uncomment this line Usually this line would be commented, but you can just remove the hashtag that would be here. Remove that. And for this line too, remove the hashtag, remove the comment. Okay, right quit. Then add your user account to the Lipboard group. I've already done this, but it's fine. You can just add that. So this, okay. So the dollar sign who am I just sort of gets your username and substitutes it into the command. So if we actually run that here, echo dollar sign parentheses who am I that gives you user zero. So this dollar sign and these parentheses, they basically execute whatever is inside the parentheses. You could also echo path, for example, dollar sign or yeah, mm, let's say which ZSH. Just check where my shell is. That's used within the SH. So it's a nice little trick that you can use in your shell scripts or something. Okay, now we need to restart the libvirt daemon. Get that. Pseudo system CTL restart. Okay. Now, step five, enabling nested virtualization. Now, let's say that you have a virtual machine and you'd like to install a virtual machine in that one. So you have Arch running inside of Arch running inside of Arch. Now, I personally, I wouldn't ever use this because my, my PC is potato enough on its own. But if you wanted to, you could follow the steps given here. For an Intel processor, you have to enable these kernel modules. For an AMD, these ones. And you have to do a little bit more simple configuration, but y'all can do that. Okay, then that should be it. Now, after this, you will have to reboot. So just reboot, hit enter. Okay. Now, once you're done rebooting, 
you have to open up word manager virtual machine manager and i already had an arch linux vm here but just for the sake of this video i'm going to open a new one okay and by the way it should ask you whether a sort of network is online or something just hit yes it isn't showing it for me right now but it probably will for you okay now let's install arch create a new virtual machine local install media forward browse let's select hmm, i have an isos folder yeah there, there you go or browse local actually isos there you go that's my arch linux iso then one gig of ram one cpu core 20 gigs okay i actually can't make a vm here you know what let's give two gigs 2.5 gigs <laughs> let's see if arch even runs with this customize config yeah this this is what i was talking about it says the virtual network default is not active would you like to start the network now and yes that's actually needed for your sort of ethernet connection inside the vm to work firmware is going to be uefi hit apply then begin installation full screen this hit enter there you go you can just ping arch linux.org to check if internet's working and it is ip-ca to see the details as you can see you have emp1 as zero over there now you can just use arch install to install arch linux or you can just go through installing arch linux manually but that should be it that is how you install a virtual machine using word manager this also uses kvm so you have serious performance gains if you're on linux so yeah that's it see you guys next time peace